Hey guys, Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and Zack Attack back with another GK Tech How To. This time it's the Z33, aka 350Z, G35, and V35 front compression rod spherical bearing replacement video. Let's go, shall we? Pro box shimmy to display parts on counter combo, go! This big boy is the bearing assembly itself, which houses a common sized bearing titled the COM16T, which can be replaced with ones we stock here at GK Tech and or can be found locally or online at any bearing supply place. You also get these tiny trumpets, aka the inserts, which obviously go inside the bearing to line everything up and get you dialed in. Just like this. Just look at that double trumpet bearing assembly. Hot damn. Why do you need this bad set of trumpets in your life? Our bearing shown right here has the highest misalignment in the world. Coming in at a whopping 24 degrees. Most other bearings come in at a paltry 15 degrees, which is laughable at best and not helping you do six skids. I'm not even going to mention how little the OEM one actually has. It's basically a negative number anyway. Let's quit talking and install the damn thing already. Start by removing the front brace bolts from all over the bottom of the car as seen here. Seriously, these things are all over on both sides of the car. Once all of those bolts are out, strong arm the brace off like our guy Zach here, maybe do a few curls with it for them gains, and head over to the knuckle and remove the split pin from the bottom nut of the compression rod. Now zap that nut off, which will allow the removal of the OEM arm as seen here. Drag that suck over to our 14th favorite tool, the press, and press out that OEM bushing. Once out, let's have a closer look at the arm itself. If you were paying attention, you would have noticed this beveled edge right about here. That is there to help you line up and guide the new bearing into place so that it will press in both evenly and easily. So, starting from that side up and being supported from the bottom, press the new GK Tech bearing in, making sure to double check that it is sitting flush, meaning it shouldn't be poking out either side like most Formula D drift car fronts do. Period. Now drag it back over to the car and install the compression rod to the knuckle side of things first, threading the nut on. Now remember those trumpet inserts I mentioned earlier not being the same? Grab the one with the bigger hole, aka the top one, as Nissan made the stud larger at the top and we needed it to be a perfect fit. So slap that sucker in the bearing face up and push it on the stud as shown here. Head back over to the knuckle side and tighten and torque the nut down to these specs shown on the screen. Now grab that split pin, run it through the hole and spread those little ears as we're currently doing. Now install the lower insert onto the stud and into the bushing, then install the brace. Again, strong arming it up and threading at least one nut on to hold it in place, then give it a little old zap to hold it securely. Take the next 13 hours to install the rest of the damn brace bolts. Seriously, there are a lot. And once done, starting in the middle, torque to these specs shown here. Then head to the other side and torque the smaller bolts to these specs shown. Then back to the larger bolt and hit that with these specs shown. Then back to the other larger bolt on the other side and hit it with these same specs. Then on to the smaller guys, sending them down to these specs shown here as well. And would you look at that boys and girls, this thing is more articulate than Obama. Meaning it could basically do backflips if you need it to. You need this, trust us. Also this is us. We like cars just as much if not more than you do and we suck at documenting it. So check us out on the YouTubes. Hey, maybe you can't install this, or maybe you don't have a press. Have a pro do it, or reach out to us with any questions. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and Zach the Bicep coming at you with another GK Tech How-To. Peace.